Hello again, friends, and welcome back for another recipe plan with me. So I am working my way through a pile of meal kit recipe cards, and I actually have three more coming this week. So really excited to be putting together these recipe plan with me's with these recipe cards and these recipes that are tried and true and I know I want to make again. And thank you for joining me. So I'm going to be using, um, for all my recipe plan with me's, I always use the same four books. Um, I don't know if I used like every single book this time, but you'll commonly see food two and food one. You'll see the recipe value pack sticker book and the recipe accessory book. So the recipe that I'm going to be doing today is the super smashed burgers. These are a beef burger with a caramelized onions, chipotle aioli, and carrot fries. Um, last time I made this, I actually did both carrot and regular french fries, just so that way we can kind of get like a good mix, but this is a super delicious recipe. The caramelized onions and the chipotle, chipotle aioli are like amazing. And I'm the type of person that I go between wanting a good ground beef burger and wanting a good plant-based meat burger. Um, I haven't tried this yet with the plant-based meat. I say meat in quotation marks. Um, mainly because my grocery outlet stopped selling the plant-based meats that I really liked. So I haven't found a, a suitable one yet. So I'm using the classic sized um, Happy Planner recipe organizer. So I'm gonna go ahead. Um, this way you can just kind of see what I've done already. So the chicken and biscuit pot pie, the sweet chili chicken, and then the loaded pork potato wedges. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off of the disc. And let's get started. So whenever I do these plan with me's, I always start out with the name of the recipe on the top. And what's really fun is that as I'm doing these plan with me's, I'm intentionally picking recipes that I am actually have meal planned for that week. So in that way, I can also grab a picture of the food to go along with the, the recipe. And that way you can also kind of see what it looks like. So before I get into the ingredients and the directions, I'm going to go ahead and mark the serving and the prep. One thing I really love about these recipe cards is um, while they won't tell you like the amount that you should use or not always, um, they do at least give you the prep and how long that it takes to cook. Um, when I'm doing these, I'm kind of estimating like how much mayonnaise to use, how much garlic to use, that sort of thing, um, just based on your taste. So. I can tell you with like the mayonnaise, the uh, chipotle aioli, they did not give you enough mayonnaise and we could have very easily doubled that. So that's kind of what I'm gonna keep in mind as I'm writing in the recipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the ingredients. Um, this one has, I believe it has 12 ingredients. So they always give you like the ingredients that are specialized to the recipe and then um, it's ingredients that are just kind of basics that everyone should have on hand. So whenever I do the ingredients, whenever I do the directions, I'm always going to speed it up. Um, that way you're not having to just kind of watch me write really, really slowly. And that way I don't have to try to figure out how to talk and write at the same time. Sometimes I'm lucky to be able to talk and pick up stickers at the same time. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to do the ingredients first. So popping in the music and turning up the speed.
Okay, so I've got the ingredients down. I did have a couple of technical difficulties where apparently I forgot how to spell onion and garlic, even though it's quite literally on the recipe. So I did have to white it out. I will admit, white out over the green portion of the paper totally annoys me, but I'm gonna have to move past it. So um, I think I'm, you know, I don't think I'm even gonna need this whole page for the recipe, so let's see. I might end up using more stickers than what I have here. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll kind of see. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the directions. And basically what I've done, you know, they give you a pretty detailed set of instructions. I know the basis of, basics of cooking. I know how to cook without a recipe for certain recipes. Um, so basically what I'm doing is I'm taking the recipe and I'm rewriting it to work for me. So I'm not gonna be writing down every little thing or I would not have enough room. So just keep that in mind if you're working from a recipe card. So um, again, I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the directions. I'm speeding it up, I'm popping in some music and I'm just gonna get this all written out. Wow, this recipe actually like worked out really well. So there we go. The super smash burgers with caramelized onions, chipotle aioli and carrot fries. I have the directions completely done. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my little notes. I always like to include what temperature that you have to preheat the oven to. Um, you didn't know it is super important to preheat the oven. Um, you know, it's funny because I hardly ever used to do it, and then I noticed that once I did, it like everything started cooking a lot better in the oven. So, always preheat your oven, guys. All right, I'm just gonna write, I'm gonna get a new sticker. That one, and I just wore the page. So, fantastic. Um, I think, trying to remember what book it came out of, I think it came out of this one. Alright, let's try this again. I'm not going to worry about where it tore. So, preheat to 425, and... I will just kind of put down my stickers now. Um, this is a family favorite. Um, I just like this little sticker. I always like to put those on all of my, my recipe pages. And then I have the burger with the side of ketchup that I suggest. And I don't put that in. I'm kind of wondering if there might be something else that I can to it. I need like some more super cute stickers. I'll use one of these. Sometimes it's just fun to add in like these little stickers. They don't have to mean anything. They're just cute and fun. And uh, I'm going to put in this E. So there we go. That is cute. I love it. And let's go ahead and put it back into my recipe organizer. Now, 
I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to intentionally find some other recipes to go with, um, to go in here so that way I can start filling up the other categories as well. Because right now, all I have is just the main dishes. I don't have anything in small dishes, nothing in soups and salads, healthy fare, breakfast, dessert. Um, it's actually really funny because as I pull out my mini, um, I have nothing in the favorites. I have, do have something in the, the main dishes. I do have something in the small dishes. I got one, um, nothing in soups and salad. I do have not something in the healthy. I have something in the, two things in the breakfast. I actually have a recipe that I want to do in, in there. But then the dessert. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And I actually, I actually have another recipe that I want to put for the dessert that is a fudge pie recipe. So this is, you can just kind of see how I've been using this. Absolutely love this, love these little organizer books. Um, so there we go. Thank you for joining me. I really hope that you enjoyed this. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And I hope that this also inspires you to keep your own recipe organizer because imagine filling these up and then being able to pass them along in your family. You can be able to keep Happy Planner in your family at all times. So again, thank you so much. Have a good day.